He's the rock star. <laughs> Only one per family. What I've been doing is um, just staying by his side, going with him, uh, participating in these events. I I've known I've known Bernie for 35 years. I met him in 1981. Thank you. I remember coming to Davenport, Iowa, coming in and saying, "Wait, uh, who?" all these cars, there's a line of people, are we competing with some other event? And Phil, uh, who was driving us, said, no, I think, I think that's for you, Bernie. <laughs> Astonishing. I mean, it, it's surprising every single time. Partial, because I have a wonderful son here. <laughs> We'd be lucky to have her uh, in the White House and focusing on some of those issues. So I didn't, I didn't end with these caucus for us. We'd be walking down the streets and people would be yelling, Bernie, run for president. And I was like, well, you know, if you if you decide you want to run, I will be 100% behind you. I'm not, I'm not crazy about it. Thank you very much. Good question. We were out to breakfast. A, a veteran came by and he said, I, I just don't mean to interrupt you, but um, I want to thank you for everything you've done for me. Your office helped me get my, vet my veterans benefits. If you run, I, I will do everything I can to help get you elected. I just sat down and I said, okay, I give up. I, I think uh, I think you do have to do it. I think he and I balance each other. You know, we really have different uh, different approaches. I'm much more social than he is. He much He's much more cerebral. Um, he thinks things through, I feel things through. They, they feel like they're not getting a fair shake or some other people are not getting a fair shake and they're hopeful and invigorated. It's a common occurrence on the campaign. Okay, where's Jane? She's still back there talking to somebody. People said, I like his ideas. I really do, uh, but he can't win. Bernie Sanders voted against the Brady Bill. The personal attacks. As a wife, uh, it does, it bothers me. And I, but I, I knew getting into it, that would be the case. And it happened when he was mayor, it happened when he was congressman, senator, and I would always say, but that's not true. They'd say, Jane, just, you know, this is politics, it's, you know, you can't let it get to you. Right now, we're rising in the polls. He started at 3%, and he's gaining <coughs> significantly. Usually, uh, I will sneak in something while he's talking. I'll say something nice about him or personal about him, and he'll say, yeah, yeah, yeah. And now for the uh, for this race, I'm able to go out and just speak my mind and tell people about him. He's not there, because then he'd interrupt. I mean, he'll scowl and, oh, okay, enough, enough, because he doesn't like to talk about himself. Thank you. Thank you. Do I know you? Yeah. Senator Bernison. I think a lot of people don't know how warm and wonderful and, you know, what a public servant he is, what a wonderfully caring, kind individual he is, because they see him railing uh, about the issues. <laughs> Thank you. I would like the voters to understand that he is more than just the issues. He's, he's you know, he's more than that. I just think it's wonderful. <laughs> what can I tell you?